video is about one of my favorite nonfiction books. I don't know yet what I'm titling this, but this, so this book is called The History of Asian Americans, Strangers from a Different Shore. Now, this is a book full of testimonies and stories of not just kind of reads like a textbook but it's really really interesting it has a bunch of true stories about events that occurred throughout the history now i picked up this book when i had to do this really big project for my intercultural class i studied communications in college and we were to a typical project you sometimes get especially when you're younger we had to fully immerse ourselves in someone else's culture so i chose one of my friends who was chinese american i live in a chinatown now that term is very important and i'm putting it in quotes and you'll see why in a couple of seconds but being in new york city and living in what is considered a chinatown i have grown up in an asian community and i say asian because there's not only chinese people so the stories in this book the true stories in this book and the testimonies come from not only Chinese um, not only Chinese residents, as I said, but also Japanese, Korean, Filipino, Indian, Vietnamese, and a bunch of others, since Asian Americans, that's kind of a vague, broad term. I really enjoyed this book. I highly recommend it. And it's, it's interesting because sometimes when you learn history, like I used to be a huge history nerd growing up, and it wasn't until I got older that I realized how narrow sometimes at least in my school district the the focus is on i'm not saying this right like sometimes you just there's a lot of silence histories you don't learn a lot about other people's histories if it's not like you know the prominent dominant view but there are a lot of histories and backgrounds of people that we don't really hear about like one of the biggest examples that people are talking about considering the fact that today is columbus day is native americans but i feel like also there's a lot of things that i never personally learned growing up about like the chinese immigration laws the japanese internment camps that we had here so there's a lot of dark history and i think personally i never really learned a lot about that especially in high school and middle school you learn uh, and I think this book is just a really good starter for really knowing more about our history and I think it makes me more aware of where I live, what happens, like I, have I think it makes you more aware of cultural stereotypes and all of these. I think that there's just so many stereotypes pertaining to the people in this book, the people of these cultures and this book really goes into it very detailed it's a very large book but i highly recommend it i have like post-its all over it um so it talks a lot about not only personal histories but also the stereotypes and the myths about asians americans considering asians as foreigners in this country there's a lot of history books that give asian americans a very passing note or just tends to overlook them and then you can say that about a lot of cultures um, but this one in particular was really interesting to me. Now the reason I put earlier quotes on the terms Chinatowns is because within New York City, well New York City has one of the biggest Chinatowns, but the reason I bring it up is because is because there's a lot of history behind that word, behind what happened when immigrants came to the country. But it also has a negative connotation of, it does have those negative connotations of perpetuating these stereotypes in other people's minds who aren't really aware of that history, like the laundry mats and the Chinese food um restaurants and you know the tailors who are all chinese it's too long to get into but i really enjoy the book understanding people's histories and you don't always get that with the mainstream version of it that makes sense so i highly recommend this book i'll leave all the information down below there's also um some exhibits going on in new york city and there's also some events going on here in manhattan um if anyone's in the area so i'll write all that information down below so you guys can check out those exhibits because i will be there as well so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye